Hi, my name is Cody Hill and I work in the Academic Scholarship Office and I'm here to talk to you today about the financial aid and academic scholarship process here at the University of Arkansas. Um, if you don't remember anything else from our time here, uh, at least remember that we are located in 114 Silas Hunt Hall. We're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. You're more than welcome to call us at 479-575-3806 or email us with your financial aid questions at finaid, F-I-N-A-I-D, at uark.edu, or scholars for your scholarship questions, S-C-H-O-L-A-R-S, -S, at uark.edu, and we will get back to you and help answer any questions that you might have regarding uh, the application process. You're going to hear me reference our websites quite a bit today. And so finaid.uark.edu and scholarships.uark.edu will be your manifestos, your guides, your compasses to all things financial aid and scholarships at the University of Arkansas. So we're going to just dive right on in and begin talking about the free application for federal student aid, also known as the FAFSA. There's a three-step process for making sure that you filled out your FAFSA. The first is that you need to create your account. You can create an FSA ID, which is your electronic signature for the FAFSA and other financial aid sites by going to studentaid.gov and setting up your FSA ID. This is your certification, your personal login that you'll use to certify all federal aid documentation throughout your federal aid application process. Number two is you need to submit your FAFSA. So you go in and you step-by-step -step fill out your FAFSA application through studentaid.gov. And then step three is you wait until those estimated award notices are sent out to you. Uh, those tend to go out in early March, the year before attending the university. Every single incoming freshman is eligible for 5,500 in student loans, no matter their need. Um, federal loans, grants, and work studies do require a FAFSA to be on file each year. And this FAFSA application opens up every October 1st. Again, you can go to studentaid.gov or you can download the My Student Aid app. This is something that I've had on my phone for the last couple of years, and it's awesome. I believe it's way more intuitive than the paper application, um, and it's pretty far advanced when it comes to filling out that application, especially compared to the website. The nice thing about the app is you use your FSA ID in order to sign in, and then you indicate whether you're the parent or the guardian or the student filling out the application, and then every single question is catered directly towards you. It even has little question mark bubbles at the end of each question that you can select, and it takes you from their app to their website and defines what exactly it is they're looking for. And then you can drop back into the app and pick up where you left off. If you happen to not have your tax information or you get to a question where you need additional documentation or something like that, the nice thing is you can sign out and sign right back in when you have those documents and pick up where you left off. As I said, every single freshman, as long as you fill your FAFSA out and submit it officially, is eligible for 5500 in student loans. Uh, students will need to complete what's called entrance counseling as well as a master promissory note at studentaid.gov in the complete aid menu, complete aid process menu. We're required by the feds to have this documentation in order to release those funds and release those loans to you. Again, if you have any questions about that process, please reach out to our office when the time comes and we'd be happy to help you with it. There are two kinds of federal aid loans that are made available to students through the FAFSA. One is called a subsidized loan and this is based on financial need. Um, the interest uh, for those loans is paid while the student is enrolled at least half time and it's only available to undergraduate students. And then there are unsubsidized loans. These are not based on financial need and the interest begins accruing um, during enrollment deferment and grace periods. Um, so depending on your FAFSA information, that estimated award notice will notify you of which combination of either both or one or other one or the other whether it's subsidized loan or unsubsidized you are eligible for and now the scholarship opportunities available to you here at the university of arkansas if you are an in-state student um, you can go to scholarships.adhe.edu in order to um, apply for different scholarships through the arkansas department of higher ed you can create what's called your universal account, Y-O-U-N-I-V-E-R-S-A-L account, 
And the governor's distinguished deadline is February 1st, and then the academic challenge and other program deadlines are July 1st. Um, and how this scholarship process works is ADHE will notify you through your universal account if you have received any scholarships. And then they notify our school in early August. They send a check and a roster. We confirm that the students on the rosters are enrolled in the hours that are, they're required to be enrolled in. And then we wait for that check to deposit and then we get the award posted. So please make sure that you do meet those deadlines. Also, if you go to scholarships.uark.edu or just scho or Google scholarships at the University of Arkansas, um, you will find on our website a section that says Guide to Outside Scholarships. In that tab, there are three reputable search sites that we endorse as a university only because students here at the university have had success applying for scholarships through those sites. Um, we do encourage you to think through any community organizations, foundations, religious or ethnicity-based organizations, professional organizations related to your future career, any employers of either your parent or guardian or yourself if you've had a job over the last couple years, um, and free scholarship searches. These are all opportunities and all avenues that you can pursue in applying for scholarships. Some may be a little easier uh, than others to start with, um, but if you think through community organizations or foundations or your job, there's probably a handful of people that you could ask if there's scholarship opportunities available that you could apply for. But a great place to start would be those three reputable search sites on our website. And a pro tip, if you keep your essay information and you keep your application materials saved in a Word document somewhere or in Google Docs, you can save your time um, uh, for applying for different scholarship applications in the future uh, by saving those materials and reusing those materials or just editing them a little bit to help fit the new prompts that you might be answering. Now beyond outside scholarships, we talked about in-state. If you're an in-state student, we also talked about um, the outside scholarship opportunities. Uh, I want to walk you through the new freshman process here um, for new freshman scholarship opportunities at the University of Arkansas. Um, the biggest thing is that you need to add scholars, S-C-H-O-L-A-R-S at uark.edu, as well as honors, H-O-N-O-R-S at uark.edu to your email address book to keep our communications from being sent to your spam mail or your junk folder. Our primary form of communication throughout the whole scholarship process will be through your email to your personal email account that you use to set up your new student center. And so the first thing you need to do is you need to apply for admission to the university. Students should submit their admissions application by November 15th to be considered for the December 1st priority deadline and by January 15th for the February 1st final scholarship deadline. I do want to encourage you that we do have a priority round of scholarship awarding and then we do have that final round, round of scholarship awarding. I would encourage you to um, do your best to get your application submitted to the university prior to that priority round because we do give out most of our awards through that round. And then you, when you apply for admission to the university, you need to make sure that you submit your high school transcript as well as all of your ACT and SAT test scores to the Office of Admissions. Um, they share that information with our office when it comes time for us to review scholarship applications. So you do not need to send additional um, tests and transcripts over to our office for any reason. Everything that you send to the university will be uh, put into your new student center so that we have access to it when we are reviewing for um, scholarship awarding. And then you need to check your new student center. About 48 hours after submitting your application for admission to the university, you will be able to log in to your personalized scholarship or fellowship application by logging into your new student center that you had just set up. Um, and then you can copy and paste or upload your required supplemental materials for the application itself. So that next step, once that scholarship application is made available to you, is that you need to go ahead and get started and prepare your supplemental scholarship application materials. There are a handful of things that we look for in this application. The first is this. We look for three works. We want you to include 
three works. It could be fiction, poetry, drama, history, science, engineering, or nonfiction uh, works that you have read during this past year that you have most enjoyed. And for each work, we'd like you to write four to six sentences that describe what you found about that work to be so significant. So we're not looking for a short uh, book report. We're looking at your personal experience, maybe how you related or connected to a character in a story or how a line in a poem really gripped you in a way that uh, something hasn't gripped you before. And so keep in mind, this is your personal scholarship application. So the more you can reveal about who you are, what you're passionate about, what drives you, what you like to do with your life, what has brought you to this point of pursuing uh, additional education, uh, all of that helps you stand out and helps those reviewers who are reviewing for scholarship purposes uh, to see you as a person. Think of it as a job interview. Uh, when you go to a job interview or when you're filling out an application, you're trying to give details about yourself that help um, set you apart from the rest of the applicants. So with the essays, there'll be three essay prompts and you can go to scholarships.uark.edu and visit the top left-hand corner. It says high school senior slash freshman. There are three essay prompts that you can read and look at um, in order to determine which one you would like to answer. And these essay prompts are designed to allow you to tell us more about yourself. Again, it's your personal application. In fact, the more specific that you can be about your personal experiences, the better. We are looking for a maximum length of approximately 600 words with this essay. There's a section as well where you can include up to eight activities that you have been involved in throughout your high school career. We do encourage you to rank them from most important activity um, to least important to you. Um, and then detail the extent of your involvement in those different activities. So um, if you've been a part of student council or a part of a varsity athletics or you've been a part of a um, outreach organization, be sure you detail the extent of your involvement. How long have you been a part of that organization? Have you held an officer position? Uh, have there been events that you've helped uh, run? Uh, if you've been working somewhere, how long have you been working there? What kind of promotions have you seen? Have they given you extended responsibility? All of those things will play uh, to your advantage the more that you're willing to reveal about the extent of your um, act activities and your involvement in them. The same goes for your academic awards and honors. You want to include these in order of significance and then please detail up to five academic awards or honors. Be sure to indicate when you earned each one and what that applicant pool looks like. And then with your academic coursework, you will have the opportunity to indicate the number of competitive hours, whether that's honors, AP, inter-baccalaureate, or dual enrollment you have completed or will complete during your senior year. So that also includes the classes that you are enrolled in or are planning on taking your spring semester. Again, if you're working on all these materials outside of the browser and saving it in a Word document, all you have to do is open up your new student center, go to that scholarship application and copy and place those supplemental materials into the personalized scholarship application. We encourage you to do that because the browser could crash, the website could have issues, and if you've saved all of your material in a Word document or have saved it outside of that website, then if it does crash or technology fails you, um, you have the opportunity to just copy and paste instead of having to rework the entire application. You will receive an email confirming receipt of your application, and then you can wait until um, decisions are sent out. So you can monitor your email account um, until mid to late December if you submit before that priority deadline. And then if you are submitting before that final round of scholarship opportunities, then by the end of February or early March is when you can expect to see something. And what will happen is you'll receive an email that says a decision has been made about your new freshman scholarship application. There'll be a link to your new student center that you can follow and you'll be able to read that decision letter right there in your uh, personal new student center. We have covered a lot of information here pretty quickly and so I do want to remind you that we are located in Silas Hunt Hall. 
We're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. You can call us at 479-575-3806 and ask to speak to the bald bearded guy who yells at rooms full of people about scholarships. Um, and I'd be happy to help answer any questions or get you connected to somebody who has answers for your questions. Um, thank you for your time today, and we look forward to seeing you at the Hill.